Hey friends, Chris Vandeviver here with Logic Pro Expert. Today's post is going to be an interesting and collaborative one between Eli and I. In this post, we're going to dissect Drum Machine Designer, but the way we're going to go about it is, is that Eli has supplied us each with a rough arrangement of bass, marimba, and some other things. Each of us are going to start with an empty instance of Drum Machine Designer. From there, we'll populate each Drum Machine Designer instance with our chosen sounds, program some drum beats, and from there, we'll compare and contrast. What do two different people come up with with the same source of inspiration? So that'll be pretty interesting. To start with, let's just take a listen to what Eli has supplied us with. So I'll start it from about bar eight because the first and second section are essentially the same. So take a listen. I enjoy it quite a bit. So from here, I'm going to open up Drum Machine Designer, and I'm also going to open up the library. When you select an empty cell within Drum Machine Designer, the library will actually update to show you what style of sound would typically populate that specific cell. So from here, I wanna pick out a kick drum. So I'm just gonna cycle through some of these. That's always my favorite one. Cool. From here, I also want a clap sound. So let's try and find which one that is. Cool. Okay. And I also want a hi-hat sound. So let's find that. I'm okay with that. All right, from here, I'm actually going to loop, let's see, close the library, and I'm gonna loop eight here to 12, just so I can hone in on one section. And I'm gonna play my kick drum and also my clap sound. So let me just try to figure out something that feels pretty good to me. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Shift R to populate what I just played. And let's just try to clean it up here. Okay, so I can see from here that we've got some extra hits that I didn't intend to play. And I missed that one. And I can see that things are looking a little funky down there. So I'm just gonna select these hits and use Command R just to populate it down the rest of the loop here. Select everything. And let's just use quantize for the time being. Okay, that works for me. So from here, I wanna use my hi-hat sound. I'm going to use note repeat just to make things easy on me. And I'm just gonna play a straight 16 and then we'll kind of pick it apart from there. Let me get my little count in as well. Okay, awesome. So let's get rid of no repeat. Let's dig in here. And I'm just gonna take a listen to this section and see what feels inspiring to me. Let's bring up the paintbrush tool here. Cool. And let's get rid of this stuff. And... Okay, I like that. So let me once again select everything, Command R, 
to repeat it down the line. And we can bring this down here just to make it easier to hear. And let me select everything, quantize. And from here, I'm gonna to go to functions, MIDI transform, humanize. And we'll just add a touch of humanity, even though I just quantize everything. And we'll even adjust the swing. Let's see. Now I'm feeling like I want one more sound just for a little ambience. I'm gonna do some processing. So I'm gonna try to find a sound that feels pretty good to me and then we'll process from there. So. Okay, cool. So let's go with that and we'll pull in pedal board here. Let me find my rim shot. Then we'll go with pedal board and let's see what we can accomplish here. I'm just putting the Big Crusher in there just to add some noise, and I'm also digging the sample delay just to kind of give some stereo feel to the sound. Okay, let's drop the volume, see what we can accomplish. Okay, it's not reacting the way I thought it would react. Let's try this. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm after. So from here, I can use Command R again to just replicate. So after all is said and done, I'm feeling pretty good on this. It took very little effort to populate this empty kit to get a beat that makes me feel good. And, you know, just take a listen to the beat by itself without the rest of the instrumentation. Obviously we can massage this further so it's not the same every single measure, but I'm enjoying this. Once again, I'm Chris Vandeviver with Logic Pro Expert.